Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung, and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Welcome to this space. I invite you here to learn about your bottom ends. Let's learn about and empower ourselves so that this bottom end doesn't have to be such a scary place, right? Please like and subscribe. This channel is for you. What is the topic today? Today, I want to talk to you about hemorrhoidectomy recovery. One aspect about it. Um, it's frequently asked and requested to me. And the question is, after a hemorrhoidectomy, I have these bumps outside of my bottom end. What the heck is that? What do I do with it? You know, what is going on? And there is a little bit of a caveat to this video because I can't see your bumps. Your bumps may be different from another person's bumps and we'll go through what bumps could possibly mean, right? And certainly, why do we have the surgery in the first place? Well, the hemorrhoidectomy is to clean up the hemorrhoids. The hemorrhoids are get now giving us issues and it's because they've gotten larger or because they've been injured for so many times, they're causing other symptoms like drainage, bleeding, swelling, etc. right? And so you get the surgery done, you clean up, they say they cleaned up everything, and you feel a flat anus on the outside, and you're just like, oh, thank goodness. The surgeon did a great job, and I'm so happy. And what happens next is that one day, you have to use your butthole. You gotta take a poop after the surgery, right? And even though the poop was soft, afterwards, you're in agony, but when you feel down there, you say, uh-oh, what the heck is that? I thought we got rid of the hemorrhoids. What is going on down there? I feel like four, maybe, maybe five bumps down there. What is that? And they're hard and, and ooh, they're sore. What is that? Most commonly, bumps after a hemorrhoidectomy surgery are from the inflamed hemorrhoids. When I do a hemorrhoid surgery, I, put, I remove the hemorrhoids and then I put stitches in. And that procedure creates injury to the hemorrhoids. The hemorrhoids are put into flare and it's at the expense or for the benefit of removing the big hemorrhoid blood vessels that have been causing the problem and then allowing the body to heal without them with a flatter surface. But in the meantime, while they're healing, the hemorrhoids are pissed off, inflamed. And so when you have a bowel movement and you crosses that area where things are already hot and heavy, you're going to set off another hemorrhoid flare. And really each time you have a bowel movement, you're kind of flaring them up, you're irritating them. The last thing they wanna do is their job, especially when you have them on the ground on their backs, right? And so most of the time, even though your hemorrhoidectomy surgery was great and things are flat, well that bowel movement passing by will irritate them and the hemorrhoids will swell up again because they've now been disturbed. So usually, if you were to look with the mirror, you might see pink, purple balls there that are a little bit enlarged and to touch they may be a little bit tender but they're also a little bit swollen and a little bit firm on, on touching them and this is the hemorrhoid tissue that is flared up and needs a bit of a break after what it's been through but these are very common and actually they're expected uh, because pretty much hemorrhoid work is done all around your bottom end, 360 degrees. You will probably see bumps in every bout location. Some are more lucky than others. Some may have bigger bumps. Some may have smaller ones or nothing at all. But that is the most common reason. So is it something to be concerned with? 
I believe that if you're concerned, you should always just ask the doctor, okay? Why try and put yourself through the anguish of researching online, trying to figure out whether what you've got is normal or not? There's no way you're gonna know. I mean, did you go through the training that the surgeon did? No, and it's just, it makes your anxiety go up, your worries and the stress go up. I always ask my patients, just ask me, and just tell me, you know, and let me know what's going on so I can tell you right away if it's not good or good or normal or not, okay? So that's what I would advise you to do first. But most of the time, about 99% of the time, these bumps are completely normal and they're okay. It just means that you're recovering. Usually these are formed at the very beginning of the surgery recovery because I just made fresh wounds. And then later on, these guys will start to settle down just like any other hemorrhoid flare you've had previously. And so they are completely normal. I expect them to come, but we can always try and avoid having these huge ones because I always tell people to be very much on a um, stool regimen. We want things to be soft. If they're not disturbed, you know, pretty much like tiptoeing around the bear. The bear is sleeping, don't want to wake the bear up, but you're in a really tight cave and you're trying to sneak out past the bear. It's kind of what we're doing. Kind of treading on thin ice and really trying to be as quiet as possible with these bowel movements, right? And when we do that, we can decrease our pain with bowel movements after a hemorrhoid surgery and also try to avoid these bigger bumps or really exacerbating these bumps. What you'll find is that after about two to four, two to three weeks or so, these bumps will be starting, to, will start to shrink down. And these bumps, because they're healing and the inflammation will dissipate, just like the rest of the wounds from the surgery, these bumps will get softer and smaller and softer and smaller. And that's why it's really important to see your surgeon to give you that reassurance to make sure that that is what's going to happen is really the key here because otherwise you're just going to be freaking out and wondering if something happened something went wrong did you do something bad etc right i find that sometimes you need to do a little trim job as well you know, I usually wait about anywhere from two to three months after a surgery to see what the hemorrhoids are looking like and if there is a bigger piece of skin because one of those bumps did not disappear, well then we do a little trim job and we can make things look better if that's what you're interested in. But these, until things get softened, we leave the body to heal it as it is. And so most commonly, these bumps are normal and they're to be expected with the healing. Now, the, what's another reason for a bump? Are they all good? And I said in the beginning that not all bumps are good because a bump could also mean that you have a hemorrhoid blood vessel that blew up and is now bleeding underneath your skin. You could have a bleeding problem after a hemorrhoid surgery. You could also have an infection after surgery. And not all bumps are created equal, right? And it's very hard to describe on, the, on YouTube what that would look like. But I'll tell you that one thing that's a big giveaway with hemorrhoid surgery is the pain. Usually the pain gets better and better and better. It gets lower and lower. First day is the worst pain but it gets better and better and better as time goes on. With bowel movements, there's a little bump, so it's kind of wavy, but the pain should not go up again to the point where the first day of your recovery. And if you find that your pain is going up in levels and it's starting to trend upwards and it's getting more and more unbearable, you're taking more and more pain medication than you did yesterday or the week before. That's the time to definitely call your surgeon and let them know and so that you can be seen, so you can make sure that everything is going according to plan. 
Well, I hope this helps in trying to figure out whether all bumps are bad after a hemorrhoid surgery. And I hope this empowers you to understand what are the different possibilities. Is it normal or is this something I should be talking to my surgeon about? I think in general, talking to your surgeon every time is the best thing. I mean, he or she is the one that did your surgery and they, I'm sure they'd be happy to help you. And so I wish you the best of luck on your hemorrhoidectomy, surgery, journey, and recovery. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this answers your questions. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and ask me more questions. I'm more than happy to help you to learn about your bottom ends. Thank you so much, and take care. Bye-bye.